Good afternoon, my name is Ipesi Motorio and I'm here to talk about football in one African country. You know, football is a, is a wide sport and it's played in many African countries, but I'll be talking about football in a particular African country today. And the country in which I'll be talking about its football, it is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Congo. So um, it's football. It's, it's football. It's a wide sport, and you know, you will see me looking at my book from time to time, so that I'll be able to give accurate information. You know, I'm not just be speaking from my head. So many sports are played in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, including football, basketball, and rugby. Internationally, the country is especially famous for its professional basketball NBA and football players. Football is the most popular sport in the Republic of Congo. For this reason, we would look into football in the DR Congo. You will see me using DR Congo interchangeably. DR means Democratic Republic. It's also, you know, I can also use Congo because they are all the same things. The Congolese Association of Football Federation was founded in 1919 when the country was not yet independent. The team played their first game, the team, and when the team here means the, you know, national team of Congo. They played their first game in 1948 as Belgian Congo against Northern Rhodesia, now Zambia. The team recorded victory at home, that is, the match was played right there in Congo, which was the Belgian Congo at that time because of, you know, colonization and all. They played the game in Congo and Congo won against Zambia, which is what we call an home and home victory. The team recorded victory at home. DR Congo's national football team has been FIFA affiliated since 1962 and recognized by FIFA as Congo DR. What it simply means is that the Congo team, FIFA, that is the um, Federation of World Football, has recognized the uh, DR Congo's national team since uh, since as way back as 1962, and FIFA recognizes them as Congo DR. It has also been a member of CAF, that is the Confederation of African Football, since 1963. The team's first official match was on the 11th of April, 1963, against Mauritania in the La Amite tournament played in Dakar, Senegal. DR Congo won the match. The national team appeared in the African Cup of Nations for the first time in 1965. The African Cup of Nations is a game that is played um, among football teams in Africa, in, you know, in all nations in Africa, in all, all African nations football team. The, the Democratic Republic of the Congo had its first international success at the 1968 African Cup of Nations held in Ethiopia, beating Ghana 1-0 in the final. Of course, the Democratic Republic of Congo had won, while Ghana had zero. The team's biggest ever win came on the 22nd of November, 1969, when they recorded a 10-1 home victory against Zambia. That is, the game was played in Congo, and Congo beat Zambia 10-1. Their biggest defeat was against Yugoslavia, 9-0. That is, Yugoslavia beat Congo, 9-0. Congo DR has been ranked as high as 28 in the FIFA rankings. As ZAR, that is while they were still ZAR, they were the first sub-Saharan African team to qualify for the FIFA World Cup and twice won the African Cup of Nations. Welcome back. The, the, the present-day DR Congo national football team represents the Democratic Republic of the Congo in men's international football, and it is controlled by the Congolese Association Football Federation. They are nicknamed the Leopards. Their team colors are white, blue, as I'm putting on blue, and red. Opposed to many who think that the, that the Congo DR football glory days are past. 
you'll be glad to know that the Democratic Republic of the Congo won the African Nations Cup, that is the CHAN, for the second time in 2016, beating Mali 3-0 in the final in Rwanda. DR Congo became the first nation to win the trophy twice, having won the inaugural CHAN tournament. DR Congo were also third at the 2015 African Cup of Nations in Equatorial Guinea. But lately, although the team actually plays in global and neighborhood games and well-disposed matches inside the African landmass, they have not had any significant success. I hope you have enjoyed hearing a short account of how football has been played and is still currently being played in African countries with emphasis on the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Thanks for listening. Bye.